Hey, what is up guys, Barker Rust here, and I'm going to be showing you how to fix your stutters inside of Rust. Stutters have become a big issue recently, especially with a lot of new graphics updates and everything like that. Now, this used to happen to me all the time, but ever since entering these commands, it hasn't happened once. It used to be around one stutter every five minutes, but now I haven't gotten one for a year. But yeah, here are the commands that help me, and yeah, I'll show you how to put them in. Alright, first of all, you want to alt-tab out of Rust. You want to head over to Rust, you want to go to Properties, and there's two commands you got to worry about. GC.buffer4096 and max memory 14,000. 14,000 essentially is for me having 16 gigabytes of RAM, which most people do have, they have 16 or 8, and I'm just putting a little under uh, 16,000 megabytes, which would be 14,000, and that means that Rust is available to use all that, if it wants to, which will um, reduce stutters because it has as much um, access to resources as it needs. And with GC.buffer, this is usually at 256, so increasing it by like 8 times is actually quite a big increase and it really does help a lot with stutters. The main command right here is GC.buffer, so you essentially want to put those in with the dash in front of them inside of the launch options. And I also have all my other launch options in the description below if you want to read that, but make sure you do actually set the um, CPU count and threads to the amount that your CPU actually does have and also make sure that um, you put in the right amount of memory for how much you have. One massive tip which the community told me in my last started video they said that if you go to options you go to um, mode and you set that to borderless it can actually fix your stutters. This only applies to a certain amount of people though so try it and see if it fixes it and if not then put it back to exclusive because exclusive can have better FPS and can have other benefits like lower latency so if it's really bad then set it to borderless and see if it fixes it but otherwise stick to exclusive. Anyway I guess I'll see you guys in the next video but for now please like comment and subscribe and I'll try to reply to all the comments and yeah I really appreciate it. Hope you guys appreciate me keeping the video short because some YouTubers make them excessively long so they can make more ad revenue but you know I'm all for the fans so yeah like and subscribe for that and thank you a lot. See you in the next one.